Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video, I'm reviewing another set from the Red Dragon 22 range, and yes, it's another Peter Wright dart to add to the ever-growing list of Peter Wright darts. And this one is the Black Racer, so let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 90% tungsten. They're also in 24 gram in steel tip and soft tip sold as 20 grams, 18 gram for the barrel. Retail price is £67.80. So they come in the Red Dragon Snakebite World Champion packaging. Quite a stiff hard cardboard. Inside there's a foam inlay holding everything in place. And they come supplied with the new snake bite nitro tech stems in short. And also these new, if I can get them out, snake bite hardcore standard shape flights. So the dad's fitting with a black coated point and the barrel is obviously the kind of shape that we've seen before in the I think it was the Red Dragon Screaming Eagles, was it? And the Winmore Sniper and also the Simon Whitlock um, darts. Um, not a shape that suits me, but not a bad looking dart at all. It's just an unusual shape, so it's one of them darts that it either suits you or it doesn't. <laughs> and the comb supplied with the new Snake Bite Nitro Tech stems in short and the new snake bite standard shape hardcore flights. So an interesting shape again, it's a long tapered front section and you've got some wide smooth sections and then some thin rings with quite wide grooves with the black PVD cotton and a kind of a, a V shaped lateral cut through them. And as you get to around the middle, you got the wide bands again and Again, a set of uh, thin rings with the curved wide grooves. And then above that, you go into this kind of a, a mini scallop section. Interesting shape there. And then on the rear section, it gets quite interesting again. It's a very fine ring grip, but it's got deep lateral cuts through it. Um, almost like a kind of a, a wavy saw style grip and then on the end of the barrel it kind of tapers a little bit again with the snake bite logo and the red dragon logo so there you go that's the super close look at the red dragon peter wright black racer darts That's fit with a black coat of 27mm point. There's a smooth tapered front section that's 6.7mm wide. And then you've got a mix of wide bands that are smooth and ones with the kind of very thin rings with deep grooves and lateral cuts. So I'll let you look at the measurements yourself because it's going to take a long while to explain all that. And then you get to a section which has got a kind of a pinched in waist or, waist or scallop section that's 9mm and then you've got a flared out section with a very fine ring grip with lateral cuts that's 11.7 millimeters and then a smooth section on the end of 4.8 millimeters length is 50.8 millimeters and the widest is 7.05 millimeters twenty two point zero four grams twenty two point zero three grams and twenty two point zero five grams full set up twenty three point eight nine grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup, and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So 
a mix of grips here you've got the thin rings at the front with the lateral cuts so it would probably be grippier if they were wider and the scallop kind of acts like gripping itself and also a little bit of grippiness on that rear section so 6.5 at most finger slipped off the barrel it does me head in <laughs> it's doing it a lot lately as I come to draw back I lose my grip on the dart I don't know if it's to do with I do have some like issues with like my nerves in my shoulder and all that but it's happening a lot lately it's getting quite annoying <laughs> um it is an unusual shaped barrel like this I've reviewed darts like this before and I've always mentioned it's kind of an unusual dart and not really the kind of dart I would buy for myself normally but apart from the fact that it has a long front taper which I'm not always that keen on the actual grip there isn't too bad but the balance doesn't feel quite right for me personally I'm a one champion. Well, I can't see any reason why some front grippers wouldn't be happy with it. But like I say, because it's an unusual dart, you really aren't going to know until you get a chance to try it. If you've already tried this shape already, then you'll, you'll have a good idea. But it is just the same as the other shaped barrels that I've reviewed before. It's just a slightly different grip and variation overall, but not a dart for me. <laughs> I'm throwing these from the scallop. I'm not fully in, into the scallop. I'm a little bit on the rings in front, but I think the edge of my thumb is mostly in the scallop. That one actually threw quite nice. But like I often say, with a scallop, it makes a nice reference point and it also usually feels quite comfortable in your fingers. But if you're like me and you have problems with your release, if you don't get a clean release out of it, then the dart can get miscued and go off all over the place. So that is my only issue with scallops. But it's more of a personal one than an actual problem with them but frying a little bit better than I was expecting but if you're happy with throwing from a scallop and you know maybe just slightly past middle gripper then you should be fine but the same applies what I've already said though it's an unusual shaped dart and slightly strange balance because of the way it's shaped it kind of feels as if the balance is more to the rear when you're throwing it Oi, that was all right from my rear grip <laughs> It was actually spinning and spiraling quite a bit, but I think that could be more down to the, the grippiness of that section on the rear than the actual dart. Um, quite a nice feeling grip again. So for rear grippers, nice bit of grip there. My finger keeps dropping off the dart. It, it, it's really irritating me now. There's something wrong with my nerves. Can you see? I just it, I get like weird twitches. It's it. I don't know. I get quite a bit of pins and needles as well recently. So whether I've done something to it, I don't know. Oh, another treble from the rear grip. Ooh, nearly another one. I think it'd be a really nice one for rear grippers. It doesn't feel as weird gripping there on the rear as it did from the front where it's quite thin. And like I say, middle grippers, 
may depend if you can fall into that scallop if you feel happy with it should be fine but maybe middle and rear grippers are going to get the best from this dart Oh, that's the same as the last one. Two in the treble and one in the five. Typical. Them last two actually went in really smooth. Um, I still don't feel that comfortable with the long thin taper though, but if it wasn't quite as long as that and the slightly thicker end was more to the front, I'd probably feel a little bit happier with them, but just me. But decent amount of grip at the front. So I think it can work for some front grippers and definitely middle and rear grippers. It should be fine, but it probably depends if you're a middle gripper, if you feel happy holding into a scallop area. But if you're a rear gripper that likes to grip right near the end of the barrel, quite nice from there. And I think maybe, well, it did seem to me, might be the best spot for balance overall nice looking dart but like i said it's an unusual shape so it's not going to be for everyone i don't think it's for me personally i probably get more used to them if i played with them more but i don't think i feel that comfortable with them so not for me um so there you go that's the peter wright black racer darts i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel Please do so and I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.